Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. One of the most popular types or categories of men's fragrance is the barbershop fragrance. It's modern yet mature, astringent yet woody and masculine, mature yet ageless. It's the perfect aftershave compliment. In this video today, we're gonna to talk about my top five barbershop fragrances and why every classic man like yourself should own them. So that and more is coming up next, so stay tuned. Welcome back guys. By definition, every barbershop fragrance is an aromatic fougere. What is a fougere or an aromatic fougere? Well, the word fougere is French for fern. And back in 1882, Paul Parquet created a fragrance called Fougere Royale. Fougere Royale was, it didn't smell like a fern, but it smelled like what he thought or wanted a fern to smell like. So you could say, in a way, it was one of our earliest or first concept fragrances. Fast forward to the present and Fougere is just one of several classifications, primarily referring to men's fragrance. It just means a men's fragrance that falls somewhere between woody and fresh on a sliding scale. And it's made by combining specific oils. Originally the oils were lavender, oak moss, vetiver, and coumarin. Coumarin is just a compound that came from tonka bean, actually accidentally, interesting story. Uh, so it's kind of a synthetic tonka being creamy sweet however in our modern day the term fougere has broadened to include many different note types including citruses herbaceous green floral animalic and many others with that in mind coming in at number five is brooks brothers of new york gentlemen now this fragrance is comes in two different flacons. This is the one that I have is a little bit uh, newer, I think. The older one has little tiny squares in it. It's kind of the same color, so you get a navy blue, you get gold lettering, and then the gold lid. And I'll show you the front of that. Now this fragrance really kind of has it all. It is a sensual, elegant, masculine fragrance for the cosmopolitan man. It's another way of saying classic or sophisticated man. This masculine barbershop fragrance features notes of, you've got bergamot, verbena, petit grain oil, mandarin, iris root, carnation, cumin, oak moss, and vetiver. Being somewhat of a self-proclaimed Swiss army fragrance, gentlemen is not necessarily a fragrance that I would use on a date night. It has more of a daytime, classic, slightly dressed up sensibility than it does a an allure, a mysterious, kind of an intimate allure. Uh, there's nothing wrong with doing that. I guess if you're if you have limited options, you could actually use it as a date night fragrance, but it's this is definitely a fresh from the shower. And isn't that really what barbershop means to us? Barbershop means in, in essence you're gonna take care of you and focus on you. It means neatly manicured. It means just had your hair or your haircut or your beard trimmed, manscaped, you know, whatever the case may be, and you look you're looking tight, you're looking good. Uh, you're looking like you're taking care of your business and that's how you feel and you want a fragrance that also goes with that. Oftentimes people will go get a haircut directly before going to a job interview because they like that feeling, that fresh, new, clean, well-cut, professional and classic feeling. And that's the, the feelings that you get from a good barbershop fragrance like Brooks Brothers New York for gentlemen. As mentioned, this fragrance can be used in casual situations, however, in a tie required situation, you can also dress it up. It's perfect for that as well. The spices infused for New York for Gentlemen admirably lift it from the skin. So you get pretty good projection from this and about average to just above average longevity. So I get about two hours projection with about eight to nine hours longevity. That's actually just above average for me, but for this fragrance, it's really, really good for what you pay. You can get this fragrance at online discounters and on eBay for around $35. And I'll leave the link in the description below in case you're interested in purchasing. My next fragrance is a very well-known fragrance and that is Azaro Pour Homme. And yes, you're looking at Azaro Pour Homme nighttime. I don't have Azaro Pour Homme, so I'm using this kind of as a placeholder for it, so forgive the bottle. The difference in terms of looks, it looks exactly the same in terms of what it says. This says Azaro Pour Homme. The original Azaro Pour Homme, which 
I believe was released in 1978, so it is an older fragrance, is a like an like a light amber colored, almost a tan color, so you can almost see through it. This is a much darker and somewhat more sophisticated fragrance. However, Azaro Porom Nighttime is actually also a very good barbershop fragrance with a little bit of a modern twist to it. As a straight up barbershop fragrance, Azaro Porom is my pick. Now, a lot of people complain about the open of Azaro Porom because it's kind of harsh. You get a huge blast of lavender and anise, and intermittently woven within that is leather, oak moss, and citrus. And while it has been reformulated, the current formula does not stray very far from the OG DNA. It features aniseed, bergamot, basil, iris, caraway, lavender, clary sage, lemon, patchouli, sandalwood, vetiver, juniper berry, cedarwood, amber, oak moss, leather, musk, and tonka bean. So there are a ton of notes in Azaro Pour Homme, similar notes in nighttime, but not quite as many. Like New York for Gentlemen, Azaro Pour Homme is best utilized whenever you want to wear it. I'm not going to genre it or try to capture it, the essence in a particular season. It's literally not season based. It is more of a, like you could say is going to be kind of a spring and summer fragrance, but more like occasion based, you know, whatever environment that you're in. Let's say you are going to go on a job interview. It doesn't matter if that job interview is winter, summer, spring, or fall. Azaro Porom is going to be a very professional grade barbershop fragrance that you can wear to portray the right attitude or deportment that you're ready to do a great job and you should be hired for the position. And it says all that in the bottle. It's very clean, very crisp, and especially if you wait after that, that semi-harsh opening, that's when it really, really shines is in the mid to the dry down. A lot of barbershop fragrances are for more mature men, I would say gentlemen from 25 on up, not necessarily for the younger crowd. It is such for Zaro Porom. So I would say between 25 and 30 and on up, would really enjoy this fragrance. It is a little bit old school. So if you don't want that old school vibe, but you still like the scent profile of Azaro Pour Homme, you might want to try Azaro Pour Homme Nighttime. It has a little bit more of a modern twist to it. It takes some of the rough edges of Azaro Pour Homme, rounds them off a little bit, and is a, a much more appropriate, and obviously, just like the title, in furs, can also be worn at nighttime. Azaro Pour Homme can be found online at online discounters, eBay, Amazon, for around $27 for a 100 ml bottle eau de toilette. Do you think you could rock out a pinstripe suit as easily as this gentleman here? That's right, that's Zeno Davidoff. And Zeno Davidoff is not only the creator of the brand Davidoff, but also from the actual fragrance that was named after himself, Zeno by Davidoff. Now Zeno is an eau de toilette barbershop fragrance that is one of my absolute favorite barbershop fragrances. No matter how old it is, which this was formulated back in 1986, I think that's when Back to the Future first came out. So we had Back to the Future coming out, and then Davidoff, Zeno. He wanted something that was that best captured or represented all the finer things about a classic man. I think it was successful in doing that. He's shown here in a photo admiring a cigar. Obviously he smoked in a classic man suit. Much like the man himself, this fragrance is mature, it's stately, somewhat old school, but open to new ideas, and therein lies the floral heart. It features bergamot, lavender, clary sage, rosewood, geranium, jasmine, lily, rose, amber, patchouli, sandalwood, tonka bean, vanilla, and cedar. As you can tell, older barbershop fragrances had a ton of notes in them, and a lot of them had very familiar or similar notes, just like the fougere classification. This is a classic aromatic fougere that's definitely an upscale barbershop experience. Manly, creamy, floral, spicy, and it often gets compared to Tom Ford's Beau de Jour. One reason that I really enjoy Zeno is that it wears many different faces. Yes, it is a barbershop fragrance. It's also very professional and formal. It's also very calm and relaxed, calm and collected and casual and laid back. It's really whatever you want it to be. It can be dressed up. It enjoys being dressed up. It enjoys, I'm talking about it as if it were an actual pet or something. It enjoys being dressed up. It enjoys being dressed down. It's whatever you want to wear and whatever occasion you want to wear it. This kind of morphs into that occasion. There are enough notes in this for you to be able to be interpreted by yourself and those around you as perfectly appropriate for whatever occasion you're experiencing. Zeno by Davidoff is a 125 ml bottle and can be found online for as cheap as 20 bucks, which is a fantastic deal for a classic barbershop fragrance. Coming in at number two is Versace Man. Versace Man. 
Now this fragrance was created in 2003 and unfortunately it is getting harder and harder to find, but it's a wonderful, spicy, woody, oriental barbershop fragrance. It's a wonderful addition to the Versace family line. In fact, if this were a family member, it would be that rich uncle that everybody is really happy when he comes around because he always comes bearing gifts. And the gifts that this one bears, this being a tester, that's why I don't have the actual lid on it. But the notes featured in this fragrance are bergamot, neroli, angelica, black pepper, cardamom, saffron, amber, cashmere wood, labdanum, and live tobacco leaves. Now the tobacco in this fragrance, and I love tobacco fragrances, is really predominant. And when you first spray this on, you capture a little bit of essence of that kind of a green live tobacco but as it dries it, then it becomes a much more mature like the black pepper the cardamom and the saffron and others in fact it, it's a very dense fragrance uh, almost heavy not heavy in terms of cloying or miasmic heavy in terms of considerable so in other words when you spray this on a couple of sprays you're like wow i'm getting really getting my money's worth this fragrance likes to lay on your skin and let you know it's there. That means it's substantial. It has a presence, it has a personality, and it's showing you that by thus projecting. This isn't a super sweet fragrance. It has a little bit of sweetness coming in, uh, the dry down from the amber, but it's a pleasant kind. It's nothing that says gourmand or sweet at all. In fact, this is a very mature, very dry, and that's why most people might not consider this a barbershop fragrance, but I guarantee you on the dry down, so you've thought about it at least once or twice. And now that I'm bringing it to your attention, if you do own it the next time you spray it, you'll agree. It's a fantastic barbershop fragrance. Having said that, this is not a young man's fragrance. 25 or 30 on up. Definitely a mature man's fragrance with a little bit of old school vibe to it. Again, good luck finding it. It's kind of hard to find these days. I did find it in a few places and I will link one of those in the description below in case you're interested in purchasing. This can be purchased online right now for about 37 bucks. Coming in at number one is the best barbershop fragrance hands down, without a doubt, the easiest choice, easiest pick, wasn't even really a competition, Zaharoff Signature Pour Homme. This fragrance is wonderful. Now you've probably read or seen a lot of buzz or hype about this. If you watch any reviews for Men's Fragrance on YouTube, you've seen a reviewer talk about this fragrance. Is it worth the hype? Absolutely, yes it is. Why? This is a passion project. It is a labor of love. George Zaharoff has gone to all of the locations where these the essential oils used in the creation of this fragrance was made just to check them out, just to learn more because he wanted to have a fragrance that met his expectations. He had an idea, he had a vision, and he didn't want to quit or leave off until it reached the, the pinnacle of what it was that he was wanting to reach for or choose from. I think he absolutely succeeded in Signature Pour Homme. In fact, I left a link in the description below to one of the episodes. He vlogged his journey as he went searching for the specific fragrance notes that he wanted to use in this and his, his discovery is all on video. It's on YouTube. I think it's episode 14 where he talks about the juice. It's fascinating. Check it out. You'll learn a lot. I did. The visuals are amazing. The cinematography is epic. Just a really, really great guy. Great vlog. Absolutely wonderful barbershop fragrance came as a result of all of those efforts. Signature Pour Homme features black pepper, French lavender, Guatemala cardamom, blue cedar, Indonesian oud, Florentine iris, Kahili ginger, Virginian cedar, Canadian fir balsam, pimento leaf, Australian sandalwood, Indonesian patchouli, black amber, myrrh, and Ethiopian frankincense. That's a lot of fragrance to hand pick when you think about it. A lot of fragrance to hand pick. And that's a lot of dense and heavy fragrances also to hand pick. So with all of those fragrant notes in it, you would think that Signature Pour Homme would be a heavy, dense fragrance. It is, but it isn't. And that's what's so wonderful about this fragrance is how it balances those scales in terms of the notes. You really want to try it out. And I definitely have left a link to the Zaharoff website where you can order Signature Pour Homme. This is one of the most deeply masculine barbershop fragrances I've ever experienced. So it is in the number one spot for a very good reason. That's it guys for my top five barbershop classic man's fragrance. Yes, I believe that all of these fragrances should belong in every classic man's collection. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you found something in this list that you like. If you don't already own it or if you do your experiences with it,
it or others in lieu of, let us know what those are in the comments below. Always appreciate you sharing those. Thank you so much again for your continued support on my channel. I'm Tommy with StudioSense, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.